Hi everybody, um, first off I'd like to say thank you to all my new subscribers for taking an interest in me. Welcome and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, this video is going to be how to contour your nose. It was a request. It's been taking me a while to get it done. I've been really busy, started a new school, um, Paul Mitchell Orlando. Anyway, um, I'm sorry about the lighting. My fiance is sleeping so I don't want to turn on all the lights so I'm going to have to deal with it for this video. <coughs> Now there's a lot of different ways to contour your nose to make it look smaller. Um, my favorite way to do it is after all my foundation is done and concealer and all that and I've already put on powder, I like to use like a brush like this to contour it and chisel up my nose. But um, do know that there's tons of ways you could do it. Um, if you don't like to use powder at all, maybe you're more mature and it sets into your wrinkles or something, then you might want to use like a cream product, maybe a concealer in a darker color or some foundation in a darker color and just really work to blend it into the rest of your face, the rest of your foundation because you don't want it to look obvious. That's like the number one thing you want to look natural. But if you're like me and you know you already do your foundation and then you know put on a little powder and want to contour your nose to make it look smaller, this is how I like to do it. Um, I like to use a brush like this, but a brush that I may bring out just so you get a, you know, so you could see it a little better is a brush like this, like a concealer brush that's flat because this one you can make a more definite line. But um, I just feel that this one gives the most natural result. So this is what I'm going to use. And if I feel that you can't really see it well since I'm recording, then I will go ahead and break that out. So what I'm using is just a powder that's darker than my skin tone like about two to three shades darker and I'm just gonna load it up on this brush like that and just like go like this to get off any excess and what I like to do is start with the bottom to <clears throat> to put a little bit of something darker here this is basically just oop, light manipulation so to put something darker here will make the nose look shorter instead of how long my nose is so I like to start here and I just slowly now, always in working in circles, blend it into the base of my nose, and it will make it look shorter. Hope you could see that that brought it up a bit. It's very important to blend because if it if it looks obvious, you're gonna look crazy, and it'd be better to have your nose look a little big than you know obvious. So now I'm slowly starting to work it onto the sides of like the bulby part of the nose, grabbing more powder as I need it, and again I'm working in circles and I'm working up the side a little bit in here to make more definition. So you can see there's an obvious line kind of. I'm just going to keep blending. Do, do, do. So now you can see one side versus the other. Now I do that to the other side. Sorry, there's a mirror right behind my computer, which I'm filming with right now. Getting ready for school. It's 7.37 in the morning. I've been so busy. School's from like 9 till 5, so I don't get home till 5.30. And I'm only off Sundays and Mondays from school, but this week I'm not going to be off at all. Because I'm going to be like an apprentice to... This really awesome makeup artist this weekend, so I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm just continuing to blend because the most important thing is that it's natural. Now you could already see that my nose looks thinner, um, straighter, but the most I put, um, the spot where I need it the most is this bulby part of the nose because I feel that mine's a, a little large. Sorry about that. <clears throat> So I just keep blending. Now you can't see really in the computer too much, but I could see in the mirror that it's really obvious. It's kind of harsh. So what I like to do is take a powder that is my skin tone, and an MSF is good for this. I use um, MSF in medium, the natural finish ones. I'm just trying to open it. I'm holding my computer. Okay, I have an itch. Okay, so I put some powder onto the same brush, you know, one that's my actual skin tone, and I use that to blend it out. So just blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. It's the key. 
Contouring your nose takes a little longer than contouring your face, as you could see. Because you don't want this to show. You don't want people to see that you contoured your nose. But you still want that effect of having a smaller or thinner or straighter, shorter, whatever you're looking for nose, you know? So by putting dark somewhere, it's receding, taking the attention away from it. And from putting light, it makes it show more and makes it pop out, you know? Something you learn in art class if you ever took any art classes. Or if you're in high school, I would recommend taking some art classes because that was always my favorite part. And art really comes into play with makeup, in my opinion. So it can't hurt to be a little creative and find your own ways to do things. So I'm always open to new ideas and new tips, so feel free to leave me some in the comments. Or make a request and I'll do my best to get it done for you. I'm, I'm so busy. So you can see it's starting to look more natural. And I just sit here blending it out for a minute or two. Um, I don't always contour my nose, but on days where I want to look really nice, you know, I'll do a little extra work. But I just have school today. But blending in circles gives you the best blend. And that's for anything. For eyes, for foundation. Like if you stipple on your foundation, you may want to blend it out in circles after so it really gets into the skin and has a natural finish. And this brush is just from Crown Brushes. It's a deluxe crease brush. It's soft, it's big, it's fluffy. It's just good for blending out. That's why I like to use it. So that's starting to look a lot better. Ooh, my stomach's growling. I need to eat. So hopefully you could see that my nose looks a little smaller. Now what I like to do is, let's say you have your nose is a little crooked like mine, and you like it to look straighter, take something with a, like a highlight powder or something with a little shimmer in it. <clears throat> this is Max uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in um, Soft and Gentle. It's part of the permanent line, so you can get this anytime. It has a, uh, you know, some sheen in it, and I'll run this down the center, like right here, in the middle of where I contoured. And I like to put a little right here, too, to make my upper lip pop a bit. Another place you could put the darker color, by the way, is right here. Because it'll make your bottom lip look like it's protruding more because the dark is recessing right here, which means it's pulling it back, which makes this pop kind of look larger. So I like to put a little bit there. So... That's a brief video on how to contour your nose. If I didn't give you what you're looking for, or if there's something more you need, let me know and I'll do my best to get it up as soon as possible. Otherwise, I hope you're all doing well and having a great day or a great week. And I will be back soon with some more videos. And I love you guys. Bye.